Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is part four of .NET full stack project. So in the previous video, we saw right how we can create all the folders which are required for us to do this API development, which is a blog project. Okay, so we will be creating all the APIs for blog. So now we can say the folder structures are ready. So in this today's video, my target is to create our first controller and we also have to create our first API endpoint. Okay, so before even starting with that, right? So if you already know that we have created a minimal API project, we could have selected it directly while creating the project. But I really wanted to do this intentionally. I did that so that I can show you if you have accidentally created a minimal API project, how you can convert it into a controller based project. Okay, so over here, right, if you see, we have this minimal API endpoint, which is this weather forecast. Okay, so what I'll do, right, first of all, in this controller, I'll have to create my first controller, which is weathers controller.cs. So I will create a file. So to create a file, right, it's very easy. We just click on this, right, and this will ask you to create a file. So you can select a class, select a class, give a name, and then this file will get created over here. Okay, so this is how the weather controller. So this will, this is just my class. Okay, this is not even a controller. Okay, now I have to make this class as a controller. So first of all, I'll have to put an attribute on the top as API controller. Okay, and the moment I put it on the top, right? So what I'll have to do, I'll have to import few things. So you can say quick fix and you have to say ASP.NCO.MVC. Okay, now the second thing, what you have to do, you have to get the route. Okay, so for this, right, I want to get a route, which is API slash controller. Okay, what do you mean by route now? So this is my attributes ba attribute based route. I'm so sorry. This is attribute based route. So which means that whenever you will, your API call will be happened, right? So this is how the route will look like for this controller. So this will be API slash the controller. So this will be API slash feather. All right. So one thing what I have missed over here, right? To make it a controller, we have to inherit it from a controller base. Okay. So now I can say, yeah, this is a controller. So now let's see what we have to convert. So if you remember in this minimal API, we have this particular endpoint, right? So let's create our first endpoint in the weather controller. So first of all, I have to create a HTTP get. So I'll specify this as HTTP get and I will create my method. So I'll say public. Okay. So what I'll do, right? So one thing uh, to note over here, right? So I'll have to copy this thing over there in, in that particular content. So what I'll do, first of all, I have this summary. So I'll copy the summaries here and put it over here inside this method, what I will be creating. But this method will be returning a type. Okay, so what is the type of that method? This is the weather forecast. So let me make this as a public record so that I can access it in this particular controller. So I'll say public and then I'll say weather forecast is of type weather for array of weather forecast. And then I'll say my get. Okay, I can give it a good descriptive name as get weathers. Okay, and now if you see right, I have my summaries and then what it does, right? It does something similar what you just saw over here. Okay, all right. So now what I can do as I have that data there already, so I can remove this thing. Okay, and also I can remove the summaries, which is not been used. And this is still required because we are using it, it over here so, as a type. Okay, now let's save the changes. Now I can say this API is ready. So let's see if, if we run this project, what happens now I went over here, I click on this and this will run the project. All right. So the project is running, but can you see something here? I cannot see any thing over here in this swagger because I think somehow we are still not able to tell the .NET that, Hey, I have a controller. Okay. So to, to tell the .NET about your controller thing said, right, what you have to do? Okay. Let's go in your program.cs. You have to specify it explicitly. So what you need to do, right? You have to add the controller service. So you'll have to say builder dot services, and then you have to say add controller. Okay. So moment you add the controllers and then you also have to register that into the pipeline. Okay. So I'll say app dot map controllers. Okay. So once you map the controllers and then if you save the changes, okay, if you want to build your project that also you can do, right? So how do you build the project? You just say dot net and then you'll say build just to check that if everything is okay. And now once this build, can you see the build is success with zero warning and errors. And now let's go here and run the project again. All right. So now can you see that after adding that two lines, now I'm able to see the controller, but can you see the, how the route looks like API slash the controller name? This is what I was talking about. And once you click on this, click on this, try it out. And if you click on execute, can you see I'm still able to get all the data, what I was getting with the minimal API as well. All right. So in this way, we saw that how we can convert a minimal API project into a controller based project. All right. Now, this was the first part of this particular video. Now let's see what we have to do next. 
all right so as you saw right we have created the first controller but we are not going to use this weather controller right so for our requirement what we will be having right we will have a authentication we have user management we have blog management we have comment management so for all that things we have to create controllers okay so let me first go ahead and create few controllers for you guys so the first controller i want to create is so to create a controller you have to click on this file okay add file choose a class and then you have to give a name that okay i'm creating a auth controller so you can just give the name of the controller okay and once you hit enter right so can you know do you know this is a class or a control controller correct this is still a class so to make this a controller you have to add the attribute on the top as api controller okay and just below this you have to specify the route as well like api slash auth okay because the controller name is auth okay and here you can create all your http post port get and all that okay but i will not be creating that okay let me do that later but yeah this is what how the controller will look like now the next next thing right to make it control you have to inherit it from the base controller base okay so let's inherit from the controller base and now i can say that my controller is ready okay if you see right uh, there is one thing is quite common over here this part and this part over here as well okay imagine that every time i'm creating a controller i have to add this file so if you remember right we have learned something in c sharp or in object oriented programming there is something called as parent child relationship or uh, in that oops concept we called it as inheritance okay so what we will do right so let's create our base api controller okay let's go ahead and create a api base api controller okay i hope this is correct yes and hit enter okay so now what we will do right in this base api controller we will specify that this is the api controller and just below it we will add the route over here and let's also import it on the top this is imported from microsoft.asp.netcode.mbc because this belong api controller and route belongs to this particular okay namespace so now what we will do right so now also we have to inherit the controller base in this class now once you have all this thing right so now you don't need to put up all of this okay so now your things will go so easy so you just have to say that okay inherit from base api controller okay so now can you see this looks more neat and clean correct over here as well right what you can do you can remove this you can remove this and you just have to inherit this from base api controller and this will be imported okay let's save everything and now can you see how neat and clean your controllers look like now with just a single liner okay now you don't need to also put this using because this will be already handled in the base api controller so let's also change this as well yeah this looks quite okay and now in this week right you can create your n numbers of controller over here let's create one more for user controller okay you have this controller and now you don't need to do anything you just have to say base api controller and that's it okay now you can start creating all your api endpoints just below here so something like this you can do now okay all right so this is what uh, today in this video i wanted to talk about like how you can create your controllers in dotnet project all right so that's it from this today's video where we saw how do we create our first api controller and also we saw how we can create our first api endpoint as well and we have seen how we have converted a minimal api endpoint to a controller based api all right so now in the next video we will be talking more about creating the entities okay so entities are nothing but which which is like your table structure like how your table structure will look like okay so we will be touching up this particular uh, class library which is our domain layer and we will create all our entities which is required for us to create okay so let me just give you a glimpse like how the entities will look like so this is what i have already created so this thing we will be discussing it in the next video all right so that's it from this today's part if you have any questions or clarification for this particular video so you can mention them in the comment section if you really want to request something new topic or if you have any feedback for me to improve it more better then also mention them in the comment or you can connect with me over all my social handles which are already mentioned in the description okay so till that time bye bye happy coding and see you in the next video